And Zelensky sidelines close allies in Kiev's biggest purge of war. Welcome back to News in Details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz held a joint press conference following the Pittsburgh Dialogue on Climate on Monday. President Sisi stressed on the significance of the climate dialogue and called for an international joint action to face the repercussions of climate change at all levels. The President pointed out to the strength of the Egyptian-German ties, illustrating the progress of the joint cooperation between both countries in various domains during the past period. Isisi pointed out that Egypt hosts COP27 amid challenges, including food and energy crises as a result of COVID-19 and the war in Ukraine. The head of state also reviewed Egypt's new vision, which targets transformation into an economy of low emissions and increasing its renewable energy resources. For his part, Scholz welcomed Egypt's co-chairing for the Pittsburgh Dialogue on Climate and asserted his country's intention to enhance coordination and consultation with Egypt over several issues of mutual concern, including combating climate file. He also asserted the keenness on fostering relations with Egypt in all fields, especially to energy. Scholz also tackled the Ukrainian crisis and means of confronting its impacts on the global economy. President Sisi and the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz witnessed Pittsburgh Climate Dialogue high-level session. Addressing the session, Scholz said that German, the Germany is targeting the transformation into a green energy. Addressing the Pittsburgh Dialogue on Climate, President Sisi hailed the German role in confronting climate change. President Abdel Fattah Sisi and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz witnessed the Pittsburgh Climate Dialogue high-level session. Addressing the session, Scholz said that Germany is targeting transformation into green energy. He underscored that the mission is to make better life by using clean energy resources. He added that they should use clean energy resources, among them is green hydrogen, and should have new resources of energy supplies to continue development. He also reiterated that countries should do more to activate what has been agreed on to face climate change. Addressing the Petersburg Climate Dialogue, President Sisi held Germany's role in confronting climate change. He added that the Petersburg Climate Dialogue is an important step in facing climate change. President Sisi pointed out that Egypt hosts COP27 amid challenges, among them food and energy crises, as a result of COVID-19 and the war in Ukraine. He added that Egypt is targeting transformation into an economy of low emissions, pointing that climate change has become a threat for many countries in a way that necessitates implementing climate change agreements, among them the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. President Sisi also stressed the importance of international institutions' cooperation on climate change. He also said that food and energy crises increase the magnitude of challenges facing Africa, which already suffers from drought and desertification. He also mentioned that Egypt targets linking electricity with a number of countries in the region. He also added that Egypt was keen on taking active steps for transformation into a sustainable development figure that copes with protecting environment and confronting climate change. In addition, Egypt is carrying out huge efforts to raise the percentage of renewable energy resources. President Abdel Fattah Sisi was received by the German President Frank Walter Steinmeier at the Presidential Palace in Berlin. The two leaders, Sisi and Steinmeier, held talks on bilateral relations and means of boosting these relations, in addition to ways of coordination and consultation regarding a number of regional and international files. President Sisi also wrote a memorial message and signed in the Presidential Palace Honor Book. Senior officials from 40 countries were meeting Monday in Berlin for talks on how to stay focused on fighting climate change. The closed-door talks in Berlin will kick off with experts delivering a presentation on the issue of loss and damage to ministers, who will then break into small groups to discuss and listen to each other in the hope of building trust ahead of November's UN summit in Sharm el-Sheikh. Organizers have billed the two-day gathering as an opportunity to rebuild trust between rich and poor nations ahead of this year's UN Climate Summit in Egypt, 
after technical talks last month achieved little progress on key issues such as climate aid for developing countries. Developing countries are still waiting for rich nations to provide $100 billion in climate aid each year, a target they were meant to reach by 2020. The United Nations is pushing Yemen's warring parties to agree a six-month truce extension, which would be the longest in the seven-year-old